Hi, I'm getting ready to do some watercolor classes online. So the first step you need is to figure out what you need to do watercolor. And the first thing we're going to work on are the paints you need. Now, you can run down to Hobby Lobby or go to Amazon and pick up one of these little guys. Just make sure you've got this little AP on here or you're going to have weird colors. Um, if you go to the dollar store and buy one of their little sets, they're going to have weird colors. But these these will get you by for the first first lessons, uh, real basic colors. And then if you want to step it up a bit, um, there's these little tube colors. These are Van Goghs. I do not believe they make Van Gogh anymore. So um, Hobby Lobby has a store brand. Michaels has a store brand. Uh, if you want the good stuff, get the Winsor Newtons. But for now, you can just get the cheaper ones. Um, and you might want to get some white, what they call gouache. Um, this is indigo, but get some white because it'll <laughs> help you fix some of your little boo-boos on your, on your painting. Um, for brushes, I would get a set of... The brushes they use, oops, wrong end. The brushes they use for fingernail art. They get some really fine little, little brushes here. Have some, uh, get a, a set of these. They have all sorts of these. Um, have the fine, fine tips on them. Um, and then you can get some rounds. Uh, soft rounds for watercolor. Uh, this one's a size 12. Uh, this one I think is an an 8 and maybe a 6. Get an 8, 12, 6. And then you'll need a, a bigger brush for wash. Just one of these little guys. Um, this one's a little bit too big but it's just for a wash. Uh, your paper you can get um, any year watercolor paper. Um, I like watercolor paper that's made out of cotton. It's more expensive. You don't need to go that route right now, but later on the cotton paper works a lot better and I'll show you on some of the demonstrations the difference between the two. Um, and uh, what you'll need to do, I have put the pattern up online for you. Uh, is to trace that onto here. This is something called, I trace it on with something called Sorel. Um, it's a paper thin, it's kind of like the old carbon paper. You can get this in black and white. And just make sure you get the right side down. Uh, put that down on your paper and trace over it. I like to use an ink pen because then I can see where I've been and where I haven't been. Um, when you trace this, um, I've also put a black and white photo up there and the original color one. I've probably missed some petals and missed some turns on my pattern, so you'll kind of want to watch that a little bit. I'll try and fix it as we go. Um, when you tape, you want to tape your paper to a board. Uh, use the off-white um, what is that stuff called? <laughs> the, the tape, <laughs> whatever it is, that off-white tape. Um, now my old age is showing because I can't remember the name of this stupid tape. Um, it'll come in blue. Don't use the blue because the blue will throw your eye off on color. Um, duck. No, it's not duct tape. Masking tape. There we go. I knew I would get it. Use the, the off-white masking tape. And you could probably even use the two inch wide. Um, it doesn't come undone. Make sure you've got plenty of room along your edge here. Um, this is probably a little bit skimpy because um, this will start coming up when you start getting water on it. Um, again, any type of watercolor paper will work. I do like the cotton better. Uh, you got it, you know, like made out of wood or cotton. And then I also. When I do my little, uh, get my little tube paints, I put them into 
one of these little guys. Um, there's room here to do your mix your paint. I have several of these. This is my newer one. This is my old one. This is the one I really, really like, but I can't find these anymore. And he's really old. And then another thing in my process I do is that you'll need kind of a little, I got this one at Walmart. It's a little thing like this. And in here, you're going to have your Payne's gray, your blue, and your purple. He's the blue is in here, and then the purple in here, and then, and I'll explain this when we get into classes, what this is for. Um, you can mix this up without having Payne's Gray in these little kits. It's just easier to have Payne's Gray. Um, and I'll, that's one of the first things I'll be teaching you is how to mix this gray color with this little kit, or you can cheat and use Payne's Gray. So I guess that's all for now. Um, the next class I will um, show you how to mix some paint. Maybe I'll start over with tracing this onto um, the board. This is a little bit darker than what I usually like it. Um, I didn't realize the Sorel was going to work so well. It must have been a new sheet. But anyway, it worked well, and so I got it pretty dark. I'm going to probably try to lighten this a little bit with an eraser. We'll see if that works. But the lighter that you make your marks on this paper, the better off you're going to be in the end because you won't see those marks when you're done. Um, so I really don't like seeing those marks when I'm done. But um, uh, this board here is just a... Um, I think they use them for... Oh, what that the science projects, but you can get a piece of masonite, a board. Um, I've even used a piece of cardboard, but cardboard doesn't really hold up to water real well. Something that's waterproof, I've got them on plexiglass. Uh, taped them on to the the, the ple uh, plexiglass. But uh, if you want to get this far on your own, but I will probably show you how to do this in probably the first lesson. So. That's all for now, and we'll talk to you later. This is Connie with Connie Mason Bennett Art. You can find me on YouTube. I have a website. One of these days, I'll get that all together so I can put it on here and so you don't have to forget what I said. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.